Hey everybody, it's Nathan. Welcome back to another video. So today I've got another product to review. Um, it's nothing to do with my uh, PlayStation Vita, but it's actually something to help me with my videos and the quality of my videos to upgrade them and all that. Oops, actually, I'll be back. All right, as you guys know, I got one of these. Uh, if you're a proper old subscriber or something, I got one of these a while back, and they completely made a fun of me. It's a freaking joke, and it doesn't work. I'll talk about this later on in the video, but I've got something uh, that improves my audio quality. From this standard, from this microphone, as you can see, I'm speaking from this into studio grade, which is like the best you can get. This is the H, um, H2N, Zoom H2N recording microphone, and we're gonna do an unboxing and review and also a lot of um, audio quality tests. So let's get to it then. Alright, guys, so today we're gonna just unbox it first, and before we do that, we're actually gonna take a look around the device. Alright, so at the front, I mean around the box, so at the front, you've got the picture of it. And you've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, over here, as you can see, it says Brilliant Audio Recording. I mean, Stereo Recording. Anywhere you go. Now, it's not brilliant. It's freaking awesome. It's mind-blowing. On the side, we've got uh, a picture of it from the side. As you guys can see, I add, uh, my camera just too small. Right? Uh, and on this side, we've got some examples of where, what it should be used for when you're recording and whatnot. So, field recording music and um, also journalism is... Uh, what it's made for other bomb nothing now at the top it's actually got something really cool all right it comes with two softwares uh free ones now this is for uh audio production and that is for audio editing now as you can see it says windows 8 and 7 and um, it works with os so i don't know whatever the mac os is and it also has a, a two gigabyte like a memory card that it comes with which is nice for um, for them not to do um, it's, and at the back it's also got some really important information I'll just zoom in and you guys can read it for yourself. I mean, uh, focus on it so you guys can read it for yourself. Because I'll be just talking about these. Uh, but over here, as you can see, it says wherever it comes in the package, wherever it comes in it. Now, I will be getting the accessory pack for this. I'm um, just kidding. I might not, but I might do. Um, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, I'll just decide on that. Anyways, as you can see, it, say, uh, it comes with the, the H2N recorder itself. The memory card and two A to play batteries and a stupid uh, software kind of thing. Um, the editing software. Anyways, let's get it unboxed. So actually, I'm really, really excited to replace the uh, crappy audio recorder that I've got because that one actually is not a very nice product. Um, let's see. Right, pull everything out and um, nothing in there. Right. This is the um, what the flip is this? All right, let me just take a look at this first. I know the record is there, and it looks sick. I can't wait to use this. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Right, what's in here? Right. I'll show you everything of this thing. You guys know that. I'm not gonna try and make a professional video. Right, we've got operational manual kind of thing. The user guide. Pretty long. Give a crap. Um. Oh, here it is, WaveLab kind of thing, right? So you can download this um, software, WaveLab. Don't want it. I got Sony Vegas. I'm alright with that. And this is the other software. I think I'd give a crap about that either. Um, not give a crap about that. Some safety guide, whatnot, and SD card uses wherever. And this, no, alright. It's all nonsense, other than um, the manual, which you probably want to read. Well, I'm not gonna, cause I don't need to. Alright, and then you get this thing. Here's the recorder. Oh, put that to the side. Um, now, Zoom is a very professional company, guys. So, do oh, it's a micro SD card. That is so much better than just normal SD card. I was hoping that they give me a micro SD card, but I was gonna go along. I've got, I was gonna go along with the normal one, but it's a micro SD card, which is freaking awesome. That is much better. And it also comes with two AA batteries, which are on this side. Now, I haven't really opened this up properly because I don't know how I'm supposed to be opening this up, but that's all you come around. These crap pack batteries over here alkaline. Nope, that, that sucks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some lithium batteries. I have got them, but uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna kill these first and then I'm gonna get the uh, lithium batteries. Anyways, let me just clear up some space and we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, recorder. I'll be back. Alright guys, sorry about that. Uh, let's just get this out of the box, I mean, in from its 
paper kind of thing and this is what I've been waiting for for a very long time I know my camera sucks sorry about that now I don't know if it comes in white color I would have actually got it in white but put that to the side now I'm gonna actually get these opened up so I can put these in and uh, I'll show you around the device too but I wanna actually get these in and also the SD card right. whoa this uh, this enclosure is a little different um, right, I don't know how this one opens up because I know how the other one opens up okay it's got a hint or something right alright I'll put this SD card in so it's got adapter and it's also got a micro SD card it's 2 gigabytes only so you're gonna put that in there and this goes into your computer or whatever and into the uh, <coughs> recorder so we're gonna put these to the side everything to the side now I'm also gonna update and uh, all sorts of stuff but uh, let me just go ahead and put the batteries in now how do you take this off uh, I'll have to find out or something because I don't want to break this thing I just got it um, I don't know uh, what if I forget about it because the SD card is down here anyways I'll show you around the device right now so let me just go ahead and focus properly I don't know if that's focus, is it? No, it probably is. There we go. <coughs> right, so as you can see at the front, if you've got, it's got a big LCD s screen. Now, I was going to go with the H1 or the um, H2, but they've got small screens or the H4N, but that one's just uh, not really, I don't really need it at all. And um, this screen is actually much better, uh, it's easier to see and whatnot. At the top of the screen, I mean above the screen, you've got LED that sh turns on in red when it's. Um, recording so it's going to show you that it's recording at the bottom you've got a big record button and oh, that's actually quite nice it's good for field recording and at the top we've got the microphone uh, mods now as you can see it's xy two channel four channel and ms mod now ms is like a different kind of mod especially made for this and um, the other to the two channel and the four channel mods are for surround sound and that is just for recording like the way I am recording and it's best for that now on this side we've got the line in for the microphones or anything like lapel mic or whatever or the shotgun mic what, I don't know 3.5 millimeter mics and that's for the volume up and down for your monitoring which is from the line out over here that's for the remote now that comes in a special accessory pack um, I won't be talking about that actually but I'll just here sh sh tell you that in just little words. Um, you can get a remote, you can just like plug it in there and um, you don't have to come near it and then just press record on the button on the remote and you can go ahead and start recording and whatnot. not. Over here, you've got a USB now that uh, you can also use it for um, using this mic as a microphone interface in the uh, on the computer or you can use it as a, a file storage kind of thing so you can take the recorded files from this to your computer now on the left side we've got a uh, hold for home menu so that's the menu button you've got the play up and down that's up and down and then you hold it uh, press it in for the enter and that that's the mic gain that's the hold button and the on off switch and uh, that's uh, where you can I forgot what the name is forget it it's not any useful now at the back it's got the enclosure we'll talk about that in a bit but this is a uh, this is where the AA battery, AA battery goes. Now I don't know how to open it. I'll just take some time trying opening it. Oh, I don't know. Right, you can, you guys can see me struggle while I open it. I'm oh, just kidding. I'm just gonna go off. I open it myself. Alright, guys. So I got it to open up. Uh, as you can see here, it's got two hinges. Now you're supposed to press down on this until it just makes a little click sound. And then just push it and it opens up now trying to push it open and it didn't because it was stuck in the hinges over here and it wasn't really opening anyways let's get the batteries in um, yep just like that and there we go all right now as you can see over here it also says designed by zoom in japan now that's a japanese company but they are very very professional and i'm just going to use these crappy batteries that i came with for the time being uh, i'll change them when the time comes or when they die out now these will last you around 20 hours or something I don't know um, but more than that I'm guessing and um, uh, yeah it should it's freaking pretty heavy I guess now at the bottom I didn't show you this guys it's got a tripod mount and a SD card slot and that's where the SD card is gonna go so you can go ahead and open this 
there you go all right don't know which side you go this way um try this way yeah i think it goes in this way yep there we go so that's the sd card slot that's where the um, sd card's gonna go and then you can close this if i can close it properly oh goodness me right i'm not really in a very good mood today actually i don't know if you guys can't see either i'm not really in a very good mood because i feel knackered <laughs> i didn't go to sleep properly again you guys know how to go to sleep right there we go right so there we go um now i want to talk a little bit about the uh, front let me just go ahead and change the camera setting so you can see this thing better okay so i didn't talk about the uh, enclosure now in the enclosure let me just go take this off oh it feels good <laughs> all right now as, as, as you can see as a wheel on the top to change the change the uh, recording mode just um change it into whatever you want i'm going to use xy mod first i'll show you all of them but um as you can see it has two lights one for when it's recording one tells you that it's clipping which is good because sometimes when you're recording in ms mode you're gonna have to put it like this so you won't see the screen so th this light will blink whenever you're clipping so you can just use the mic again put the volume down and also stuff like that now I'm gonna turn it on in a bit, but I'm gonna talk about the enclosure, right? I don't know what you really call them in um, microphone industry or whatever, but uh, it's actually got five microphones inside. Five. Yep, that's a lot of microphones. And uh, if you look at it from the top, I'll show you, I'll show you which way they are actually pointing. One pointing pointing out this way, one pointing out this way, one big one pointing out towards you from the screen, one pointing out that way, and one that way. All right, and. Uh, that allows it to do four channel surround sound recording. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Oops. Right, there we go. As you can see, LED came on and uh, it's actually turned on. Right, I've never actually used this. Um, but as you can see, if I uh, move the mic again up, it's uh, probably going to pick up more of my audio. Now, I'm really, um, I don't know, uh, it's not recording yet. Uh, it's X in X Y stereo as you can see it says over there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into the menus. Now I'll show you what the menu has. I'm not gonna go over it though, cause just too much. Other than the input. Uh, no, we're not the input. How do you go back? Right. You press the menu button to go back, and you use this go up and down and hold it for the enter. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you um, the uh, recording format. So. I'll just show you all the recording formats they got. It's got just read them for yourself. I've got no time for explaining because there are a lot of um, videos out there explaining about all this stuff. So you can go ahead and watch that. Now I'm going to use Wave because uh, that's best. And uh, yeah, so that's all I'm going to use. I'm just going to let it code, do whatever you want, but then I can actually use the. Um, so as you can see, if you go into USB, it has a um, SD card reader or a uh, audio interface. Now that uses it as a microphone. Now I'm actually going to just go ahead and show you some samples of the recording. And then, um, so as you can see, this light's on. This light's on, and you can actually change it into four channel mode. If I do that, um, please wait. Now what it's going to do is, as you can see, it's MS and XY. So it's using all the microphones inside and it's got on a freaking surround sound um, which is freaking sick so if i point it this way you're gonna hear me in the video from the side now i don't have surround headphones or whatnot but no actually i do have them and then this is um yeah the ms one now this is when it's gonna record you from the back the most loud and you can actually change this um uh, if i go into menu i think um i don't know where you actually change it but you can actually change how much of what side do you want on i'm not really into all that kind of stuff i'm just gonna use it for a normal recording if you go into two channel mode i'll go right here and um, yes yeah, so as you can see it's going into surround again as you guys can see that anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and move on in life <laughs> i guess and uh, i'm just gonna show you some recordings because that's the main reason i'm, I'm just coming here for i'm here for i'm not gonna do some kind of uh, 
um, loads of different different looking around the device and whatnot I'm just mainly here for the recording samples so let's get into it onto my other room again alright guys so I've got it set up and all the quality of the video is crap because I'm in a dark room and uh, I'm actually uh, uh, recording it I'm not recording actually I'm not recording right now I'm just I've just got it here so I'm gonna start recording I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up and while I'm recording I'm talking about this one I'm gonna be recording in XY mod I'm seeing right in front of it so it's gonna record from the front mic and I've got the gain on um, I've got the gain on 9 I mean yeah I've got the gain on 9 I don't know why but I've got it on 9 all right so I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up with the uh, audio from the phone and I'm also gonna have to you know I don't know sync it up and <laughs> you guys can hear me so I'm seeing about I don't know how much fee I'm seeing about uh, away from it but I've got it on a tripod now if I touch the tripod it's actually gonna make a lot of rattling noises I mean handling noises if you guys want to put it that way so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up now I don't know if you guys can actually hear the rattling noises but I can go ahead and put it for you <laughs> so you guys know that it's actually got some rattling noise um, but that's not a problem with me obviously now I'll be talking about this while I'm recording in XY mode now in XY mode it's basically using the mic in front of it so the one with the screen on it, uh, the one the side with the screen on, is using the mic and uh, it's actually gonna <coughs> show me the. It's actually using the mic in front, so you can hear me from the front. And at the back, I don't know, I can turn that off or what not. I don't know. Anyways, so this microphone, I mean this hand recorder, I've got this from China, I think. I got it from eBay, but I don't know if it's Chinese. It is Chinese though. It's a piece of crap because it's ten pound. Of course, it was cheap now. I was gonna go for the H1, which the picture of that will be right over here. Um, one of my subs is gonna really wanna get that. I don't know if he is. So shout out to Killer Mega Man Gaming. Um, this is the brother of that, and I'm actually gonna talk about this as well. So this microphone is actually it, it came out in 2011, something like that, and the Zoom H4N, which is better than this, it came out in 2009 or 2010, something. I don't really remember. I mean, I don't really do any research on this kind of stuff. I don't really need to because I don't really want it and also stuff like that anyways so that being said this recorder has better technology than the zoom h4n but the zoom h4n is a better recorder than this as you guys know that <coughs> if you haven't seen that picture of that it's right over here and on the bottom, uh, on the bottom of that one we've got um what do you call it xlr input that means you can use the very very demanding uh, microphones, shotgun mics, road, road, shot, shotgun mics, and all those mics like that. And um, that's actually pretty good. I like that, but I don't really need that, so I'm not gonna go ahead and get that. And I haven't got it right now, as you can, as you can see. Now the battery level is on full, so that means the batteries that came with it are on full. All right, they were heavy, so yeah. The windows open, it's never closed because it's broken. <laughs> so you guys can i don't know if you guys can actually hear something outside i mean perhaps running around but i was actually gonna talk about this thing and i'm just went off task or so, something like that um so this thing are, uh, is for 10 pound and a lot of people got it and the reason i don't like it is because it's impossible to sync the audio now if you're a sub subscriber of mine a very old one you guys know that you already know that so you can go ahead and skip to whatever i don't know use the timeline um, this thing actually didn't come out quite right as much as I like it. It's very small I think this one's small enough. It isn't too big um, But I just don't like it. it. You can't really freaking sync up the audio I tried this so many times trying different different settings. You can't really uh, do anything to actually set up uh, I don't know sync here because it actually skips bits in the audio and it just muddles it all up and you can't really do it and now I'm also gonna use the um, line in so i can show you how how it sounds like with the uh, microphone going into it so yeah let's move on to a different recording a different mode i'm gonna go ahead and go on two channel mode i mean let's go on um, ms mode all right i'm gonna go ahead and switch this off all right so now the audio you're listening to is from the phone which is crap now i'm gonna go ahead and switch to ms mode and you guys can actually see me moodling around over here there we go right studio right um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and I'll come back after I've got it um, I'm muddled around with it and all that so yeah I'll be back the audio you're listening to right now is from the phone not from this thing now I'm just gonna show you something on MS mod I've got it on MS mod 
Um, you'll be able to see that when I press this, I think. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and sync you up with the um, audio from the phone. Sorry about that. It's being a little maniac. Right. And that's the, um, you can actually listen to it. Oh, wait, it's got a speaker inside. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Anyways, let's get back into the video. So as you can see the screen, you're probably not going to be able to see it very clearly, but it's on mid side mode. Turn on now. You feel. All right. Oops. Sorry about that. All right. As you can see here, it says mid side stereo. Um, and um, the bone of here, the play button. If uh, I move it down or I move it up, as you can see, you can actually um, change how much of the microphones on the side you want to pick up the audio. So you can, it's basically using the mic on the back and on the two sides, this side and this side and um, the back, not the one on the screen. So you guys can actually go ahead and set that around and I can go ahead and um, just change the feel of the uh, video, I mean of, of the audio. So if I put it on right like here, it's not going to use the side microphones a lot. And uh, uh, I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So as you can see. Uh, right there, it's very very minimum size. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like about there. Yep, I, I can turn it off. I guess I guess you can go ahead and turn it off. But I think it goes in raw mode. I don't want to go in raw mode. Is it in raw mode? No, it's alright. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording right now. Oh, yeah, it's recording. Alright, so like this, it's going to use the. Um, well, let me just go ahead and change this. Uh, sorry about that. So, if you're recording like this, it's going to use the microphone right facing me. As you guys know, that I'm going to go ahead and change the gain down just a little bit so it doesn't really peak. Now, it's using the mic facing towards me. Now, the other two mics on the sides, it's not going to use them or it's going to put them a little bit. Just lower the audio and it records in stereo. So that's how it sounds like on MS mode. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the recording. You can't really change it while you're recording, so I'm gonna have to go stop it. And I'm gonna have to change the uh, I don't know whatever it's called. You can go ahead and watch me though. All right, there we go. So I can go ahead and change this now and make the other size too bigger. Yep, keep growing, guys. Nope, not there. Right, there we go. What the flip is he doing now? Yep, and the sensitivity is over here now. It goes on raw mode, that means you can go ahead and go to your software production or Sony Vegas and change it over there. Now it's gonna pick up everything on site and also me, me the most though. So let's go ahead and record there. Um, yeah, it's recording. <laughs> All right, so now as you, uh, as you guys know, recording me, but it's also gonna <coughs> record the sides. And also the background because there's nothing at the back so you're not gonna hit it um, so this is how it sounds like with the MS or mod with the what do you call them the spectrum full the, this is full alright and I don't really have any anything to say I'm just gonna use XY mod for normal game recording and whatnot because it's a gaming channel I'm just doing it I'm just doing this for the guys who actually want to know about this thing I will stop the recording now I know it's very high quality and that but life is life Right now I'm gonna go ahead and go to two channel mode, which is there we go. Good little recorder. <laughs> Alright, the surround sound now what the flip? No no no, you don't do that man. Alright. <clears throat> now since surround sound now I can go ahead and record right now, which I will do in a bit. Let me just go ahead. Oh, actually, I might as well. It's on two channel sound surround sound. Let me say that again. Two channel surround sound. Now it's gonna record from the side, from there, and from the front. It's using all the microphones. Now I'm sitting right in front, so it's gonna use the mic on the front. But if I turn it around, you're gonna actually hear hey, me only on this side or on that. If you got surround sound, you're gonna hear me on that side going walking around. So I'll just go ahead and turn it on the side. And you're probably gonna hear me on the right side or the left side. I don't know which side it is, but it should have worked out for you. Now if I go ahead and turn it on the back, <coughs> sorry about that, um, you're going to hear me from the back or from just the way back. If you go surround sound, you're going to hear me the back or right at the back, like far away. If you haven't got surround sound headphones, you're going to just hear me like normal. Um, if I go ahead and put it on this side, 
you're gonna hear me on the right side or the left side. I don't know which side it actually is, but I'm guessing it's the right side. And uh, if I go ahead and turn it on normal, you hear me normally. Come down here. Uh, you hear me normally, like from the middle of the whole audio thing. So I'm gonna have to stop this, go on four channel recording, and I'll show you what the difference is in there. All right, uh, stop. Now I'm gonna go into four channel recording. I'm gonna have a problem syncing this crap up now. And that's the only problem that I do like about this joke. <coughs> right. Well, now it's got four. I don't know what the flip. It's got. That's crazy. Now I don't know how how this is how this one works. But we're gonna go ahead and um, just record. You guys can hear the bus outside. Is that the bus? Probably is. I don't know. So this is the four channel recording. It's round round again. And it's recording in a weird mode. I don't know what the flip. Right, just forget about it. Yeah, four channel mode. Um, so I'm at the front, and I'm touching the hand uh, tripod. You guys probably can hear that. Mhm. Mm he has removed handling noises, but I don't care about that. So this is on the front. I'm gonna turn it on the side again. <coughs> and this is from the side. Uh, this is how it sounds like from the side. Now it's a recorder. It's not just a microphone. So for those of you thinking, oh, it's a big microphone, I'm not gonna get it. It's a freaking recorder. It records. It's like a freaking. It's like one of these things, right? It's n just not. A, it's not a standalone microphone that you have to plug in some kind of computer to record and all. It's different. In case you guys didn't know, right now this is on the back. Oh crap! I actually recorded that on the side. So you guys are gonna have to. I don't know. Uh, so this is from the back on the four channel recording, and this is from the right side or the left side. I'm gonna call it the right side. This is from the right side of the four channel recording and um, I'll go ahead and go back as you can see the red light is on and also uh, it's recording it just tells me that it's recording uh, I don't know how long it lasts in battery life I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off I'm gonna go XY mod because that's the best one when it comes to recording like these <coughs> right sorry about that go back to uh, XY mod and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can change anything here now okay that's fine that's fine, I don't have a problem with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and record this. Now it's in XY mode stereo again, the front one. Oh, you, you wanna see? Oh, Alright, I'll try to. No, alright, forget about it. I'll just have to pick up the phone. XY mode right there. I don't know if it is focused because uh, it doesn't have autofocus. It's just one of those crap ones. So this is um, XY mode. Now I'm actually gonna talk about something where I've actually forgotten. Oh, yeah. Another microphone's coming. And that's a shotgun mic, 3.5mm headphones, 3.5mm import jack, and I can use that to record uh, something from far away now, but I actually ordered that before I ordered this, and it's coming from China, it's Chinese, but it's cheap, yep, and it's actually quite good, I've actually seen some recording from it, and it's good, um, but um, I don't know what to say, I don't really need it anymore, but I think if there's any different, I will actually use it. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything other to say. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you some audio samples from the line in and the line out and all sorts of stuff like that. And I might as well just use these headphones. I've got nothing else over here to actually use other than nothing else. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and use these headphones now. If you have one of these audio ports, the four pin, the one that goes into your phone, you're gonna need something like this that I've got. One second, guys. All right, now this came with the headphones, as you guys know, I'm gonna use the microphone on it. And I don't know if I actually talked about this, but it has an audio, I mean, volume control on the side. So whenever you're gonna monitor them, um, you can actually go ahead and turn the volume down or up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in so I can monitor my audio if it's good or not. Whoa, that's a little, uh, whoa, that is freaking awesome whoa that is that's unbelievably freaking high quality right i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it a little down it's on 77 gonna go right down to probably 50s i don't really need it too high that is freaking amazing right i don't know if i have to stop to record the change the recording audio but i'm gonna do that just in case i'm gonna go ahead and plug the microphone in which is right over here i'm also gonna be monitoring it from the out and we'll see how that sounds let's go All right. What? All right. Hello. I'll be back, guys. 
All right, sorry about that. I uh, actually tried the um, input from the microphone on this thing and it didn't pick up at all. Um, it, it did it did pick up that it's an in, internal uh, external microphone, but it didn't really pick up, but that was a microphone for it. It was a microphone. So I've, I've got this lapel mic and we're gonna see if that actually um, pops in. Let's see. I'm gonna have to stop the recording again, as you guys know. And it's actually sick when it's monitoring it. So let's just go ahead and plug this in. Ah. It's really annoying. I'll be back, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I've actually got some weird news. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't pick up this microphone either properly. I mean, I could use it, but <coughs> I think it's a microphone fault because other microphones, some other microphone work properly. I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording. You can hear the audio from this thing. And uh, I'll just go ahead and sync it if I can. I don't know if I can. All right, so it's recording from this microphone now, as you can hear. Uh, if I move closer, you can actually hear me more clearly. Um, but it actually works with the, this microphone perfectly. I don't know why, but it does, and I'm alright with that. Um, you can also, uh, I guess you can actually uh, use extension cables, and it probably will work with this microphone. Now, I had to go in the um, recording settings, and I had to go to the uh, microphone. Let me just go ahead and change the uh, auto gain up a little bit. Alright, and now to go to into the settings, and in the settings, they actually had the uh, option to actually use some power for the external microphones. And I got, went ahead and ticked that on, and they actually improved it a little bit. But none of them work other than this one. <coughs> um, and this one's alright. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, see if I can use an extension cable with this mic and probably see it's better. But if it doesn't work, I'm just going to go ahead and point something out. It does not let you use any of the other mods other than XY mod. Alright, and if you go ahead and change them to the other mods, it's simply going to start using the microphones built into the device. This microphone, and on this side, is <laughs> actually working. And I'm alright with that, I don't have a problem. Um, but I'm actually going to see if I can use a lapel mic because at the moment I, I don't see a point in actually keeping this because if I can't use a proper lapel mic, I can't really do any good. Ah, uh, it's okay. I'm just looking. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the recording. I'll go ahead and see if there's any other setup that I can show you guys. So I'll be back. All right. So I went ahead and got an extension cable, as you can see right here, from uh, this thing right here, and uh, it's coming to this microphone right here, which I'm recording with. It's the same microphone, of course, but uh, just to let you know, it actually does work. I'm just going to change the gain a little down. <coughs> Alright, so as you can know, uh, as you guys know now, it does work. I'm just going to tap it. It's not going to pick up the audio from there, because it's actually working on this microphone right now, the one that I'm using. And uh, I don't know what to say about it. It works. It's perfect. I'm alright with it. I'll be back after a, a jump call because I have to go somewhere. I'll uh, I'll be back. Just uh, just give me some time. I don't know. I actually got it to work, and I'm actually gonna show you that it's actually gonna work. That it's working and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch the audio. <coughs> Alright, sorry about that. I'm recording from this microphone. If you can hear it, and I uh, actually got it to work. Now there's an option in um, the. Uh, the settings that I went into. I went into input and then auto gain and I turned it on to meeting which means that it's gonna pick up whatever it is from how loudest it want the loudest you know recording. Um I don't know what it is. Um I mean I told it by meeting I mean like it's gonna it's gonna be a very quiet place and it's gonna be quiet so you're gonna have to it's gonna wanna pick it up a lot. And it's on auto gain which means I can't really use the um gain wheel the wheel controller over here but it does work. Um, just to let you guys know that it does work. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be working as a li proper lapel mic because it is pretty far away from um, from the um, thing we did. I mean, it's pretty close to my mouth. I don't know if it's gonna be any good while sitting down there. Down there, yeah. <coughs> We're gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna find out. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that. I'll go ahead and switch back to this just to let you guys know that it, everything works. It's very expensive, so it's supposed to work. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. Uh, I 
I'll switch back to this audio. But uh, I've got it on out again. So I'm gonna have to go and um, <coughs> change it. So I'll actually be back. Alright, as you guys know, uh, I've actually been recording and this high quality, you guys have heard it. But I actually want to talk about something. Right, put this to the side. <coughs> um, just change. Um, so, you guys have been listening to me from pretty much of a good distance, I guess. Now, these microphones are supposed to be, um, they're supposed to be good for picking up audio quality, I mean, audio from very close to it. I'm going to go ahead and move closer and you can just decide on if you like that or not I'm gonna have to turn the audio auto gain down though so yeah because it actually improves the audio a lot um by moving closer i mean is gonna you know it's not gonna have to pick up the audio from far away because i'm so close so that actually means um being very high quality and all that anyways uh i'm just gonna end this video here it's a lot of recording for you guys um just for the test and that and that's been a lot of um i mean sorry about that that's been a lot of audio quality test from this thing and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to end it here guys and um, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this review if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any comments leave it down in the comments below anything I missed out on this you want to know leave it down in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for PlayStation Vita reviews and all that uh, I know you guys are not gonna any of you guys want that but I've got a channel based on gaming and this is the thing that I've got for gaming that's all um, so yeah that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and any question, leave them down in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe for PlayStation Vita stuff. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.